Hi everybody. Well, in a recent video, I showed you how to install and set up a, a local web server on a Windows system uh, using my favorite, the Uniform Server. So now that we've got that installed and uh, up and running, as we can see here, both Apache and MySQL are going. Uh, let's go put it to work and we're going to install WordPress. Okay. So let's go get WordPress. There's our local host page, but we need to go to WordPress.org. Shouldn't need support just yet. Oh, well, it wants to go there, so download WordPress. And here's the latest for today. And we're going to download the zip. Should take very long, and it didn't. There it is. Let's close that. And we'll come back over here, go over to my downloads folder, and there it is. So let's just uh, copy that, go back to one of my many uniform servers. Here's the one we set up in the previous video, which has no uh, app or script in it yet. And in the uniform server, the www folder is your local web server root. So everything goes in there. And as you can see, there's a few things there now. The index page and uh, PHP is what gives you that local page that you saw before. So go paste that in. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do uh, select using my favorite uh, 7-zip to extract files and I'm going to have them put them in this folder. I'm not going to have it extract the WordPress folder. You'll see why in a second. So here is the extracted folder and within that is the WordPress folder that contains all the folders and files that you need for a WordPress site. Now the reason I did that is what I do is leave this here. I'll copy the whole folder, go back to the root, www, and paste. So now if I want to set up another WordPress site within here, I would just go back in here, rename this to say WordPress 2, and copy and paste it into here. But we're going to leave this here. Well, let's get rid of it. We don't need it any longer. There. Done. So here we have all the files and folders that are going to make up our local WordPress site. But before we get going on that, we need a database because WordPress is a database based uh, web application. All the pages, posts, and settings are stored in and retrieved from the database. So if you make a backup of your site, local or remote, make sure the first thing you do is backup the database because that's the most important. So anyways, here we have our uh, uniform server control panel. So let's just go ahead and click PHP My Admin. It's our database uh, tool. And click on the Databases tab and give it a name. And we'll just go with WordPress to make it easy. You can call it whatever you like, but make sure there's no spaces. And I like to keep things lowercase, but that's just my personal preference. And click Create. That's it, we're done. So what we can do right now, let's just type in here localhost. And the folder is where our root of the install is. So it's WordPress. And here we have the first page of the WordPress setup. Let's just click continue. And 
and we do have the database name, the database user, and the password, and all this we have. So let's go. Now, that's the name we gave it, the username. This is what confuses a lot of people when they're initially getting going. And this page is for your database connection. It has nothing to do with logging into your WordPress site. Once you set this up, you'll probably never have to go in here again. So this is your MySQL username. And with the uniform server, the default MySQL user is root. And same for the password is root. This is for the database now. For the host, you can leave it at localhost, but what I like to do is to use the IP address for localhost, which is 127.0.0.1. The reason being for using the IP for localhost instead of the name localhost is that your local server doesn't have to resolve localhost into this IP. It just makes things run a little bit faster. Table prefix, we're going to leave that as is and hit submit. Okay, Sparky, already. Let's run the install. And if you'll notice, this is basically where your five minute install starts. Um, <clears throat> they don't let you know that you have to do all this other stuff before you get here. So, anyways, give this site title the name. Let's call it my local WordPress. Or whatever you'd like. You could change it later. Now, username. For a local install only, I use admin. Uh, for a live site, please use something a little bit more secure than that and not admin because everybody and their dog knows that people will use admin or used to be the default. Same goes for the password. My favorite for <laughs> Local sites is just one, two, three, one, two, three. Yes, it's very weak. Repeat it. And again, uh, this is fine for local on a remote. Please use something very strong. Uh, your email, myemail.com or something. Use whatever you like. It has to be properly formatted as an email address. As the uniform server by default does not have a mail server uh, built in, uh, your any email functions will not func work. Um, and also, uncheck this for local installs only and any live sites that you don't want indexed. But for the most part, most people do. Anyways, local sites, leave this off and hit install. And after a brief period of time, you should see dee dee dee. coming, coming soon. Yes, any second now. Ah, there we go, success. And no, we're not disappointed, so let's go log in. And our super duper uh, secure username and password. And log in. And there we have your WordPress dashboard. And if we want to go and see what the front end looks like, let's go over here to local. Oops. Help if I could spell it. Let's just back that up to local host WordPress. And there you see the very boring home page. And by default, um, having the toolbar is uh, enabled for the uh, admin user. Uh, if you'd like to, this is what I usually do, I'll um, have a different browser open. This is Firefox now. Uh, so I can see what it looks like without that. Uh, for most times, you uh, it's not a big issue, except when you're using a plugin like Beaver Builder. 
Uh, we'll get to that later, where you really like to have this uh, in your admin. Anyways, so here is the back end when it first arrives. Uh, I go ahead and dismiss this. I don't like to see any of that stuff. You can leave it if you want, but click screen options. Uh, uncheck these items. I leave the at a glance. Put that back. It says I already have an update. I know what that's for. That's for the Kismet, or however you want to pronounce that. And one of the first things I do is delete both of them because I never use either. Delete. And there is your basic WordPress dashboard ready for you to customize as you see fit. And really, that is about how easy it is to do it once you know all the hoops you have to go through. Anyways, uh, we're going to uh, customize this in a video coming up shortly, I hope. Uh, maybe later today on uh, creating landing pages using this and uh, my favorite theme which is a Genesis framework and dynamic website builder and then Beaver builder uh, for the content layout anyways thanks for watching and we'll see you later